and yes <laughs> it is i your host big mac it is me again and as you can see you can see the title of what we're playing bro life is strange man that is what we are playing today and it's part one okay the beginning the intro life is strange the first ever game release of this franchise okay so yeah um hmm, wh- where do i begin i have never played this game before bro never ever played this game before man i have seen uh Berlizzi play this one okay it's only him i've seen to play this um to play this particular game in this whole franchise yeah it's it's just Berlizzi. Yeah, but like i haven't seen the whole playthrough though okay and yeah man i hope you guys enjoy this gameplay i sure would enjoy it bro um i am <laughs> i know i would i know i would enjoy the story i know i would enjoy like everything and i am ready to you know to be immersed into the game so i hope you guys will enjoy the gameplay okay i hope you guys would uh also love to be immersed in the game as well okay so sit back uh relax i don't know what to say anymore i just don't want to keep on talking so sit back <laughs> relax okay and um, you know enjoy the gameplay man enjoy the gameplay bro. and also don't forget to like the video bro. don't forget to like the video man. it doesn't cost anything just like just like okay just like man okay cool okay cool okay let's get to this man let's get into this bro So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could, but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Tortured, right? But I like it old school. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep if anybody else looked at this, what would they think?
Not to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I do love my analog camera. Isn't that too easy? I should take a quick picture now. Obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. <coughs> Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Sorry, Max. No more selfies right Robert now. Cornelius. You can find out I can't all believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You, have just by participating. you seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. 
I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith, good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Man, he even has the best Plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images but I still dig my little instant camera. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you always welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during class. Because Max wants everybody to see how he she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool.
Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world. That's Dana talking to me. I think his name is Justin. Driving a car by the seaside. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. To all of you, Poor Dana, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. No one can tell where your heart is. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Rachel Amber, she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. I cry sometimes, walking around my own place. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Why she cries sometimes, talking about her own place. Somewhere He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Try her fountain till she got tired to come play. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another That's Vortex Club I disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like... Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Because of her images Keep it together, of Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, you Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, bullshit. I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please 
Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the Kate probably wouldn't laugh at me, but how can I ask her about what's going on? Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded. I wish we didn't. Process, I do have to I go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Oh, totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come, Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, it's so happening. I need a hammer to break it open! Me. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time no, again, no, no. I can help her. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! Don't ever tell me what to 
do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why.
car, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope. And it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. This is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving, or...? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. You're not really escape, Betty. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. 
tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. And if anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Obviously can't go there. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. It makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Uh, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, Brock. Yeah!
I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Oh. Hi, Max. Dude. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Oh, now if you'll excuse dude. me. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean process, sir. Nice. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Yeah. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, okay. why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Awesome. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking okay. outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Okay. Uh, awesome. hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go-fuck-your-selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. 
Dude. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. <laughs>